Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In this class, we will discuss about line charts. In our previous classes, we already discussed about uh, the data set which we will use in, uh, in this entire playlist. So, we already discussed about the uh, data set and we already discussed about bar charts. So, based on the assumption that you already had some idea about the charts, uh, about the matplotlib package based on that we are continuing this explanation so please follow our playlist from the beginning so that you will have a better understanding of the complete python for data science the link for the playlist is provided in the description below coming to today's class so line charts so when to use the line charts if you are if you want to check your continuous flow of data then we will go for line charts so take an example and understand what's that continuous flow of data you know in our previous classes this is the data set which we considered in our previous classes this is the sample store data set so we are, we are just refreshing the concept we are not explaining everything in our previous classes we have done so we have take the region wise sales region wise see we are having four regions south east and west no, uh, central region we have taken the sum of the sales during on the re region wise sales has been considered so now what we do here is uh, we will take year wise sales see here ordered whenever the order is placed the date is maintained ordered data from this if you take out the year and if you take the sum of the, all the sales based on the year wise that we call it as year wise sales so year wise sales if you if your manager asked to show you show the graph uh, year wise sales whether our sales are increasing or decreasing there is a continuous flow in this type of situations uh, so we have to see that our graph increasing or decreasing uh, that's why if there is a continuous flow of data then we go for line charts the same thing we do here we will take the year wise sales uh, and we will display the line charts uh, how to display that let's take it with an example the same example we will use here so now we have to from this order date we have to remove the year so we have to take out the year and we have to take the group by option and we have to do the sum of sales year wise that is what we have to do if you want to take out the year from the date there are two ways we can use two options one of the option is so df of this is our data frame df means data frame from that we have to take the order column order date column on this we will apply whenever you take this order date it is going to create a series object in the series object we are having a method dt dot dt method on it will create some attributes from the attributes we will pick the year wise year okay so it, it is going to take out the year from the date and we are placing it in a separate column df of year we are creating a new column uh, on our data frame uh, all these basics are discussed in our uh, previous classes uh, df of year so that's why after uh, displaying we take out the year and we added it to a separate column we displayed the df our data frame uh, see here it is created a new column in the last year column we are having only year now we will apply so the second way so second way to take out the year from the date is from the date is we can use the method pd dot on our data frame pay pandas we are having a method called function called date time index method in this we will we will send the column from that we will apply the year attribute whatever it is uh, it will return that object the return object will have an attribute called year it is going to remove the year from the data so we are creating a new column we can use any way we can use both the ways any one way so we have created a new column called year now we are we are taking a group by function so how to do this group by all these are discussed we are not discussing again so previously we used a here in this position we used a region wise sales now we are using year wise sales the year wise sales are like this 2011 2012 2013 14 these are the total sum of the sales these are the values if you want to plot the now coming to the plot if you want to plot the line chart all these things are discussed x ticks x label 
title show all these are discussed in our previous classes in our previous class when you uh, if you want to plot the bar charts uh, what's the method we used in uh, in our matplotlib.py plot bar method is used instead of bar method if you use plot method it will go for line charts okay so this is the plot method x means uh, x axis values uh, x axis is taking 20 11 12 13 and 14 y axis is taking uh, these uh, total sale values uh, and color is equal to blue we are applying color is equal to blue so the graph which we got here is this is the graph so by looking at this graph what's the difficulties we are facing let's try to understand that so these y axis values are taking according to our data so according to the data these y axis are uh, taken by the python on its own but here we are getting some confusion see if you want to check the value so what's the sale of 2011 we don't have an exact figure at least you should have an approximate value by looking at the graph it's uh, it's uh, 49000 like that uh, we should have some approximate value so we have to change the coordinates these values of these coordinates uh, how to ch change these values units uh, so one one unit consists of here here it is taking 50000 values uh, if you take it as thousand values we will get the clarity unit uh, this unit should be changed how to change this unit measure all these things will be discussed in our next class in our next class we are going to discuss and we'll clearly identify the line graphs based on the changes okay coming to the next example we are taking so suppose if you want to do multiple line plots the same way we have done multiple bar plots uh, in our previous example the same way we will uh, done uh, we will do uh, multiple line plots uh, in our graph uh, if you want to do multiple line plots uh, we will add one more plot that's it uh, the example which we consider the same example we are taking the year wise category furniture officer supplies and technology we are taking only furniture value here for example sake uh, only furniture value we are taking the total sale of the furniture year wise furniture sales are, are, are been considered uh, how to consider that we will use this uh, syntax uh, to consider the so again not explaining this we have taken the furniture values and we are plotting that uh, we placed that furniture values in a variable called y1 so we are plotting plot of x comma y y is having total sales y1 is having furniture sales year wise furniture sales uh, and the color is equal to red uh, see here so this is the total sales this is the furniture sales see here when you look at this line this is almost look like straight line but there is a small difference because the units are very large y axis units are very large we are unable to look at the difference what we have from year to year so we have to change these coordinate axis units how to change that we will discuss in our next class so that we will have a better understanding of the graph will get will have a better visualization of the graph units and everything okay next examples on the graph line width and line style so we can change the line width we can change the line style means the dotted lines dashed lines like that we can change so in order to do that line width is the option line width is equal to 4 means if you increase the value the line width will be taken uh, the the size will increase uh, line style is equal to colon means uh, dotted lines uh, we can use line style is equal to dash dash means dash lines uh, like that there are uh, we can use different options uh, so remaining all these things are uh, well known to us uh, in our previous classes uh, how the output looks like this is the see the line uh, width has been increased uh, and we got the dotted lines here okay next one uh, we we can use some shortcuts also shortcuts and markers what's these markers and shortcuts let's try to understand with an example see in, in here we have written that uh, color is equal to blue line width is equal to 4 like that we have made some parameter wise uh, selections uh, we can do some shortcuts based on that uh, this is the shortcut we have written b dash o what's the meaning of the dash means normal lines b means color of the blue color o means circle if you look at the output you will get an idea next one is r means red color dash dash means dashed lines s means square what's this circle and square near the data points they are going to plot the circles near the data points they are going to plot the circles 
near the data points uh, we they are going to plot the squares so this we call it as markers there are different markers available you you check the markers these are the symbols which are provided in our matplotlib you check the markers and you apply these markers on our graph so that you will have a better understanding you will have an idea about which markers uh, so whenever you want to you got a chance to create a graph uh, how beautiful you can create this uh, graph that depends on how understand how you understand these graphs so what are the markers available based on that you can beautify your graphs okay hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you